Shalom Saints, don't let other people make you sick. In John chapter 2, verse 23, John tells us that when Yeshua was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Yeshua did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. Now at the feast, many believed in Yeshua and gathered themselves around this wonder working fellow. But at the root of the gathering around Yeshua was a weakness Yeshua could spot in people. People have the tendency to make even the healer sick. For the healer to stay healthy, for the healer to stay relevant, the healer must learn how not to commit himself, himself unto other people. The key to sustain a vibrant healing ministry is to know all men, is to know people. At the root call of the sickness, many healers undergo the weakness, stress, and exhaustion is as a result of letting other people make you sick. And this is one aspect we need to become cautious about. We've got to build a strong inner life through the richness of your vast world in such a point where our establishment, our comfort, our strength comes from Jehovah alone. We must build a life bigger than our circumstances, bigger than our tribulation, bigger even than our persecution. So important here that Yeshua did not entrust himself or commit himself unto men. He didn't commit himself to those who believed in his name. Now this is so powerful. He didn't commit himself to those who saw the miracles which he did. And sometimes people commit themselves to us because of the things they see us do and because of the things we can do for them. Not because they are in our lives for our enrichment, they are in our life for our support, they are in our life for our growth. They are only in our lives for what they can get. Of such people, Yeshua never committed himself to them. Why? These people have a tendency to make you sick. Be careful about those you surround yourself with and those who can make you sick. And so it's so important you make sure you develop, you develop a life that resists other people making you sick. And for so many people in our world today, they battle with things like unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, resentment, and all of these things are exterior offense or attack on the soul, attack on the heart, even attack on the physical well-being of many people. Now, if you cannot forgive someone who has hurt you, that means you've allowed that person to make you sick. Whoever you can't forgive, whoever you can't release, whoever makes you full of rot, angry, whoever makes you bitter, is a person whom you've allowed make you sick. So wonderful word for today. Don't let other people make